Yo, what is good, YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. Samson Dowda has won the 2023 Romania Pro, making this his third Pro win. And this was a very competitive show. In second place, we had Beirut's Tabani. In third place, probably the surprise of the show, Horace MD taking out Nathan Diasha, who finishes in fourth place. On the far left, we had Mo Fuda, who I truly believed was overlooked at this show, who finished in fifth. And I would assume that Andrea Presti finished in sixth place. And apologies for not putting out a prejudging video. With the show being in Romania, it was very early my time. But let's talk about the top five guys one by one, starting with the champ, Samson Dowda, the third best bodybuilder on the planet. I believe Samson was better here than he was at the Mr. Olympia. He looks tighter. He looks drier. Also, look how small Samson's waist looks at this show. And Samson was the heavy favorite to win this show, of course, being the highest ranked bodybuilder on paper. But Beirut's Tabani brought crazy conditioning that simply could not be ignored. But Samson's muscularity and size was honestly just too much for this entire lineup. Beirut's brought crazy conditioning. Horse MD had freaky legs, freaky tricep, but... Samson just out most of them all, in my personal opinion. And Samson has shown us once again that he will continue to improve from show to show. Just one week from the Mr. Olympia, I think Samson is better. I think his conditioning is also better. And going forward, I don't have any reason to think that Samson Dowdle won't continue to improve. But let me know in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on Samson at this show? Do you guys think that this version was slightly better than what we saw at the Mr. Olympia? Now in second place, we had Beirut's Tabani, who was unfortunately unable to make it to the Mr. Olympia. Beirut's brought an incredible package to this show, and I've seen a few people say Beirut still needs to bring the quads up. I think he has made improvements, but being next to Samson Dowda, I think almost everyone is going to need more quad size, except Horse MD. That guy has some pretty huge legs. But Beirut's brought crazy conditioning, as I mentioned, that pretty much could not be ignored. If Beirut had about 15, 20 more pounds of muscle, he may have beat Samson Dowder. But that's a lot of muscle, and we can say that about a lot of people. Also, Beirut needs to work on his posing. Just looks a little bit awkward. But great package from Beirut, nevertheless. And let's talk about third place, Marcelo DeAngelis, Horse MD. And first, I have to give him credit. I think Horse MD brought pretty good conditioning considering the amount of size that he put on in such a short period of time. As you guys know, I was worried about that. But as I said earlier, probably the biggest surprise of this show, Horse MD takes third place, taking out Nathan Diasha. And honestly, I don't disagree with this. Marcelo brought good conditioning. He had those freaky triceps, freaky quads. I think the back double bicep, as you guys can see, was the main thing that held him back. But I'm excited to see this guy compete more in the future. A little bit more density on the upper body and the back. I think he's going to be pretty competitive. And let's talk about our fourth place finisher, Nathan Diasha. And when it was announced that Nathan was the fourth place finisher, he actually took it like a champ. As we know, in the past, Nathan has shown when he was upset about a placing at a show. But I believe this is Nathan's fourth show of the year. And he also said he will be doing Prague. I think it's possible that Nathan has just done too many shows. It looks like he missed his peak here. I think Nathan was sharper at some shows earlier in the year. Conditioning is still pretty good here. I'm not saying that Nathan is off, but just not as good as maybe the France Pro, Italy Pro. And also, Nathan's midsection looked to be a little bit washed out here. And I know it sounds like I'm being critical, but Nathan placed in fourth, and I think those are some of the reasons why. And I know that Nathan is a guy that is used to doing multiple shows. The guy already has two pro wins this year, but... Something was a little bit off about Nathan at this show. Now, in fifth place, unfortunately, I can't really find many images or videos of Mo Fuda, who you guys see on the far left. And as I mentioned earlier, I don't really think this guy got a fair look at this show because all of the images that I've seen, he looked absolutely crazy. Now, to be fair, Mo Fuda is stepping ahead of the line in a lot of these shots. But you guys let me know in the comment section below. Should Mo Fuda have gotten a better look at this show? And I've already heard a few other people talk about this. Now, I did want to touch on 212 and Classic Physique. Ahmad Eshkanani, as well as Wesley Vissers, 
both earned early qualifications for next year's Olympia. And of course, I think it was a very smart decision by both guys to go ahead and do a show to qualify for next year. They were already in shape following the Mr. Olympia, and why not put yourself in the best position possible? Qualify early and pretty much have a full year off to improve. And personally, I'm really, really looking forward to the next version we see of Wesley Vissers. But that's going to be it for the Romania Pro guys. I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.